Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, TOC Con 12. We are here at the Elite Eight single elimination, getting ready to start the first half. Uh, we've got a treat for you. It's Dr. Bob Owens versus Jim the Hulk Davis. It's the Chargers versus the Longhorns. And boy, this is going to be a shootout. This one's going to make the ground rumble, I'm pretty sure. Um, we're talking about an over-under here of at least 30, maybe even 40. These guys have promised to light it up. They're one in one lifetime together. So I really all bets are off with this one. We'll, we'll cover the keys of the game here in a second. And I think you'll see while we had such a time calling this, I think this game's going to open up probably Dr. Bob favored by three. Um, the Hulk's been on, on a tear. And, and Dr. Bob's really been kind of, we always said this, playing like a demon possessed. So we're going to go over the keys of the game and we're talking about, you know, you want to control these, these lines of scrimmage. Hulk's known to be smashing people. He, he knows to push people around. Dr. Bob has a very strong offense in the line, uh, just like anybody else. So let's control the line of scrimmage. Next, we've got to stop the rush, especially from Dr. Bob. He's got outside rushers. He's got the ability to get to a quarterback really quickly. You've got to stop the rush coming from the outside, especially up the middle on Hulk. Then thirdly, I think you're going to have to cash in on the mistakes. There's not going to be many. Neither one of these coaches make too many mistakes. But when they do, this is going to be a game that's going to be critical about picking up a fumble, an interception, a big play here, there, a broken tackle. We're just going to have to watch for the cash in on the mistakes. Dr. Bob is elected to attempt to run back on the kickoff here as we open. Yep, so we'll see a kickoff. I think that's uh, always the test of time. I think the coaches like to kind of feel their way through how that's going to look, what's the board speed. I think it's a good way to maybe start out a game. There's not really a lot of risk open in the game that way. Um, the, looks like we're going to take it at the 20. So we've got Jim the Hulk Davis. Dr. Bob, they played each other a time or two, but uh, man, this is, you know, this is for all the marbles here. There's a lot on the line right now. Both of these teams trying to get in to the Elite Eight Championship tomorrow to win the ring, the, the World Championship ring. I mean, it's anybody's game. Well, and they're both sitting in a really good position here. They're high in the points ranking. They could afford to lose this game and still potentially, but they're going to be on the outside looking in. They're going to need some help. Well, this time uh, the, probably the best thing that could happen is a, a already gold ball winner would win this event today tonight and then open up another space that probably either that or you got to control your own destiny here you got to finish this thing out and take home the gold ball yourself and then you get to sit on the front of the bus with everybody else yep that's the way to do it the gold ball is the automatic thing we've got jimbo done again again as our guest referee he is mic'd up for this game so we'll have his feed uh going into your living room as well you'll be able to hear the calls as we make them Ten, so nine, dr bob's going to elect eight, to take that at seven, the um, six, five, at the 20 at six, the 20 because five, kickoff is just a no-go i ain't mad at two, that one hands six five Four, three, Dr. Two, Bob on offense. One, we we've seen him with some hands, precision passing. He can get guys open offense. deep. I, mean, I would expect a good rush Please. up the middle because Hulk is known for making these powerful bases Pass. that are going to just crush and, and push people around. Option. I expect Option. the outside on defense. I expect the outside Run. rush for Dr. Bob to be there. Quarterback options. The call. Pushback. He got pushback. He has all options available to him now. Five, four. If the offensive line gets pushed into the quarterback, you can still have an option. But if the quarterback just makes contact uh, incidental with the offensive line for no reason, uh, you have to keep it. But it is going to be a quarterback option right up the middle. And he could – oh, his own man turned out of bounds. But he did. We're looking. I don't think he's out. At the two-yard line. And then first play from scrimmage, we already got ourselves a Mr. National red zone alert. Wow, what a play. Field, and did we not talk about try to contain the defense and, and make sure that you didn't allow a mistake or when you did make a mistake, you have to capitalize? Yep, you got to do that. 
So we got Hulk down here in his own end zone, trying to defend. The mistake there was not not keeping the outside containment. Yep, that happens. After uh, kind of a fluke play there, but it still it still worked out. Doctor Bob with that little timing of his quarterback made it work. And I think we were just talking at lunch with Dr. Bob talking about, you know, toning down the speed of the quarterback. A lot of, a lot of guys want all this fast, fast, fast all the time. But with anything that's going to hang out in the backfield for a while, you want to give an opportunity for the play to develop. And you don't necessarily – and it wasn't like that quarterback then was just buzzing down the field. He was, he was making his way, but he wasn't out really running anybody. He just had nobody in front of him to beat. Yep. Medium, I would say medium speed quarterback there. Three. Two, one, hands, six, five, four. Decent look at the line of scrimmage. See what we've got here. RPO. First and goal. Number 11. For the Longhorns. Got pushed back. Five, Again, four, three, got pushed back, three, so he will have the option. Two, one, keep it. Keep it. Quarterback keep it right up the middle. Nope. Nope. Right there, corners. Should be. No gain. See, that's, no gain. Second goal. That's an example of the power that Hulk has. May actually work into his disadvantage here. He's pushing that center and those guards so deep and so hard that he's allowing line. Dr. Bob kind of almost a second chance to see what he's got on an option play. So there's an example that even though you can be as strong as you can, that he is, in fact, he may just be overpowering at this point. Yeah, that's not necessarily the best thing. He's he's taken away some of the uh, the hole openings, but it's given Dr. Bob an opportunity to kind of offense. stop that as well and, and be able to figure out what the better options are. But now here, I don't really like my chances having to score from this close in on a powerful team like that. You're going to have to – there's really not a lot of room to do much of, of maneuvering here. Inside the I'm not sure Bob, he wants to go power six. on power. He's probably going to lose that nine, battle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, six. Offense. Offense six, has the six five, seconds to be able to four, make their adjustments. Three, you have one pivot, one motion, tackle. or two pivots, or one five of yards. each, but not two motions. Five yards back if that's a tackle. He's got, He's got base length. Base length. Yeah, but he, but he, I mean, I can't nope. Nope. You can't line there. up there. Base length, three, two, six defense, five, four, three, two, one. Stationary. Defense, stationary, no? Okay. Pass. Sack. Got a sack, third and goal. Yep, back to the 15. 13 yard sack. Third down. Who is that? 95 here. 95 with the sack. Separate behind the 15. Oh, get get all your guys behind the 15 first, Bob. Your receiver and Enzo. There we go. 40. Welcome in everybody. Thanks for being the best part of GBN, the GBN Nation. I see a lot of folks Third uh, down. out here. Third Let's see. From the I 15. see Nathaniel Wells. I see Leroy Edwards, John Medeiros, Arthur Wallace is in. Apple Scrapple. You name them, Jones. Mm -hmm. Brian Pierre, welcome back in. Darren McCoy, Perry Burke, Flynn Brody, Mr. P. Double himself, Paul Pate, Stephen LaGrove's back in, Jeff Priest, Jasper Scott, Frank Jacobs. Offense. I see Rudy is in as well. Kit Kitchen, welcome in, guys. Thanks for joining. A.K. Fox, Bobby Moore. Man, they just keep piling in. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them. We well, just have to get a bigger Ten, couch. Just get a bigger nine, couch. Everybody eight, pile in. Seven, Third and goal, six, and we five, are... Four, wrapping this three, bad boy up. We started six, about 9 o'clock this morning, five, 44 coaches. Four, we're down to the Elite three, Eight. We've two, got Jim the Hulk Davis, one, Dr. Bob Owens on our feature game. Six, We've got five, four, uh, three, Pat Morse two, and Mr. John Hunter on a separate nine, game. And then we've got, uh, let's see, Ken nine, Allen five, and Mike four, Robertson. And three, then we've got Darren Jamani versus Norbert okay. Revels to round out the Elite Eight. Fell down, 20. The quarterback falls down. It's just you just have to stop the board and make a decision at that point. Pass the flat here. He's got to 
kind of get over the shoulder blades of a defender. Incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth, fourth down. Fourth down field goal. Going for the field goal. So we'll get the shot set up here. I'll get it. I'll get it. Separate the teams. And the field goal unit will come out. It'll be an actual flicking field goal. And we'll make sure we have the right shots. Looks like we're right there on it. All it's got to do is connect. That's centered, Bob. Twenty's rolling. Good. And that's good. And the Longhorns are going to go up three nothing with twenty minutes and forty five seconds remaining in the first half. One minute change of possession. And we are going to get a return. First and ten, and here come the Chargers on offense for the first time in this game. Kind of off and running here. It's kind of like a couple heavyweight fighters, you know. One throwing left, one throwing right. Just wonder where one of these big haymakers is going to land. Oh, Hello, Beanut's wife. <laughs> and Wait a minute, we got Beanut, we got Beanut's <laughs> yeah. owner in. Be yes, Beanut's owner is in. Uh, <laughs> that's we're gonna go with that. Hello, welcome in. I think she's checking up on him. Yeah. He probably told her that he wouldn't be, he wasn't gonna come here. Beanut for the but right price, we'll we'll tell we'll her cover for you. We got you, we bro. Will. <laughs> for the right price, of course. <laughs> Greg Ingle, J.C. Davis is joining. Uh, let's see, Brandon Davenport. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Darrell. Darrell is here. Is he scouting too? He, he, and look who walks in, Mr. National in a sport coat. <laughs> Man, I, I can't even afford the sport. I can't afford the glass of water, but the sport coat's different. Make, making his uh, cameo appearance. Wow. Flashing. And down. you know he don't want anything to do with Hulk, so. <laughs> no, never. Looks like we're going to wipe it up and take it at the 20-yard line. So Thank you. Yep. Didn't like what he saw, took it at the 20, and I think, again, that was a good test just to kind of see what the board was going to do. Yeah, I think he wanted to, I think he wanted to see what, what kind of speed Texas had to get down the field. We were kind of talking about this earlier, too, that, uh, you know, you don't know what somebody's got until you test them. Yeah. And if they've got the speed to come down and cover on you, it's probably not a good idea to return. Just like in real football, if you're being covered. But if you're seeing guys aren't getting down, they're not getting to you past maybe the 30 or the 25, might be a good idea to try to test that water once in a while. Paul Pate's asking if we're going to get National in the booth. Uh, yeah, if, if he's... If he'll stick around long enough. Yeah, exactly. He's got he's got people to see, you know. Twenty seconds offense. Welcome in, James Spencer. Defense, you get the full time. Glad first you 10. could join us. It's gonna be first to ten. Chargers, this is their first possession. So, you know, Longhorns went down and they I mean, they've almost used up half of the first half and right. on a field goal. Uh, is this gonna come down to a clock control game, I think, towards the end? I mean, I know obviously Hulk's gonna try to come back and score as fast as he can and get back up ahead of this. I think this first possession is gonna tell a lot. If Hulk's line's actually, you know, we said it early in the keys to the game, if he's controlling the line of scrimmage, he's getting a good push, he's getting open lanes, not only to run through, but time to throw, I think he's I think he's going to go for broke here. You know, you have the Hulk, and then you have the green Hulk. Right now, he's mild-mannered, kicked back, not worried about much. He's going to run off the break here. No gain, second down. He's, he's testing the water. He's not much of a hurry. Mrs. Nutt said we got our wording correctly. We did. Well, at least we did we something. Did, that is the first time we've done something right all yeah, day. We got something right oh, done. Oh, well, we do have our owners in now. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Hi, Mom. 
Yep. GBN Nation, say hi to mom. If it wasn't for mom, we wouldn't have GBN Nation. As simple as that. Right. Or Campbell Soup. Or don't we can't crap. say Campbell Soup. <laughs> I'll get it right, guys. We just we simply can't say Campbell Soup. What about soup this on the Bang air. Energy Drink? Well, see, that's going to cost Dang us it. another check. <laughs> I said it. Oh man, Mr. Bill Jones. Hey, we had pancakes the other day. Though. Yes, we did. And we I, thought about you a we lot. We did. We did. A lot. Bill Jones and the pancake story. Yep. Seven. Second and 10 after no gain on first down. A little quarterback keeper didn't get any yards. Chargers are looking for some momentum here. Now, this is the same Charger team that he loaned to Derek Reese in the Glass City uh, showdown that Derek ended up taking to the championship game against the Hulk. So he's kind of like playing against a mirror. And uh, so, admittedly, he says this team was better than the team that he had with the Raiders that actually won the championship. So we're going to see. But I'm going to tell you, he's up against a lot more than somebody borrowing his team from a couple of weeks ago he, he's up against the demon possessed player right now dr bob's definitely determined i mean both of these coaches are looking for the hardware they're both looking to get into tomorrow's game i mean why not 20. hulk's on his feet so anytime you know if he's up and moving he's feeling good he's light told me he was feeling probably better now than he's done in a long time Man out in the flat, just about the 10-yard line. Went wide right. Yep, incomplete. Third down. It's going to be third and 10. Not a bad look. I think if he would have had it, maybe he could have gotten into the first down situation. But Dr. Bob's definitely got the corners to be able to cover. He's got the, he's got the edge rush here. Yep. So... Can he get off his own goal line? That's going to be the question at this point. Um, yeah, he will. He's going to do, he's going to do a little small 10 to 12 yard play to pick up the first down here, keep the ball moving. He knows better than to try to do anything risky down here like that. Yep. I don't think he's got the total confidence in trying to mash yet. I don't think he's seen enough out of his interior line to make that call. So I think he's going to try to. He's going to try to spring something out, maybe in the flat, maybe a crossing route, looking to maybe get something 10, 15 yards here. Get the first down, get the new set of downs, and keep the chains moving. But I like Bob's defense here. He's loaded up on one side. He's bringing the pressure. And we're going to run off the break right here. No, I'm sorry. I thought Bob, Bob was holding the timer. Looked I think like he was holding the controller. Yeah. yeah, we're going for a pass. See if we can get that incomplete. Fourth down, fourth and ten. Yeah. Polk not necessarily known as a as a passing guru. He he's effective at it when he is. Um, generally, he don't have to pass. He's usually steamrolling people to a point that. Yep. It looks like we're going to wipe it up, go for a punt. Got a couple questions from the GBA Nation. It's asking for a fumble on a backwards pass. If it was a backwards pass, Rob Spinner, yes, it would be a fumble. Um, any kind of backwards pass, backwards lateral, if you miss, that's a fumble. And a fumble in the Tournament of Champions is a turnover. So that would have been risky right there, but that it wasn't a backwards pass. It kind of looked like it, I think, from the angle, but it was pretty even. So first and ten. We'll have the uh, the Longhorns coming back out on offense after the punt. So while we got a change of possession, we'll have a few seconds here to talk about it. Guys, if you have not had a chance to go check out Glass City Showdown at C, you definitely want to do this. It's going to be a great thing. June 2nd. June 22nd of 2020, you want to make sure you get in this. Um, definitely, we're going to put out some information on our Facebook page so you guys can all see it. Uh, I don't expect everybody to have a pen and paper handy right now, but you can book and you can join GBN and GBN Nation and the Glass City Showdown with Electric Football Network at the Carnival City or the Carnival Cruise Line. Um, here in just a little bit next year, you can actually get in for like 25 bucks down and make monthly payments to be able to get it done. We've got quite a few folks signed up, and we do have some folks signed up that have won prizes. We'll be able to announce that here pretty Seven, soon. Six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three, two, one, six, six, Stephen Legro, we definitely wish you could uh, join us. That'd be awesome. Hey, Raymond, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Glad you could join. So 
First and ten, and here come the Longhorns. Dr. Baum's looking to put another some more points on the board. Just over midfield on his own side after a punt. The Chargers went four and out. Mm -hmm. I don't really like this option here. It looks to me like he's really trying to force a pass. Through. He's going to hit the short man just to take whatever he can. <laughs> I put this down. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Rogue referee, that's what that is. So Jimbo has the timer in one hand and the switch in the other, <laughs> and he gets confused. That's going to be a story we're going to be telling oh, about three tournaments man. from now. <laughs> Third down. Here, let me help you. <laughs> it is second. First play. It is second. It is second down. Down. Second down. That's correct. Short gain after a very quick pass. Longhorns looking to do something. Is is this going to be the dink and dunk for a little bit? Um, I think only only if it's you know only if it's there and that's all that's left. But I think he's looking to really just throw a big right hook over the top right here. He's he's looking for a knockout punch just about every play. I don't really think he's wanting to. Be patient enough to sit around and watch the Hulk turn green here. No, that's probably not a good idea. Second eight. Dr. Bob looking for the pass. Sack. Got a sack. What a hit. Sack. Looks Plastic like it's going to back him up. No, I... Back him up about five more yards. It's going to be third and about 13. Back to 30? 31. Okay. There we go. Third and 13. Now it's third. Now it's third. Okay, 30 seconds. Uh, so we've got questions about who the backup ref is. Um, that lady that's up front at the check-in counter. Yeah, we gotta get her. Right. But who's gonna tell Jimbo he's replaced? Yeah, just because you hit the buzzer in, incidentally. They're trying they're, to fire you, Jimbo. They're calling you. They're Good calling for you, man. I didn't want them to waste 34 more seconds and just run the ball. <laughs> <laughs> My feet hurt. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Actually, to, in, in all honesty, guys. Ref in one of these games, the stress is already there for the coaches, but to get the right calls and to, and to make sure you call in as fair as you can, that's actually a pretty stressful job in itself. Oh, yeah. Welcome in, David Hill and Doug. See you there. Thanks for joining, guys. We're just in the first half, but it's already been a it's been a pretty good defensive battle, I guess you could say. It's only 3 nothing. I was going to throw the over-under on there, but I changed my mind. Nah, I'm still holding out for the 30. I think you're gonna, they're going to break loose here in a second. It's going to be one big play here, one there. I mean, right here you're looking at one of this pass connects. Top of the base. Top of the base, got them complete at the 35-yard line. So get ready to turn the scoreboard over. Yep, that's a thing. Because there's nobody home above that. Fifty, forty, thirty, and that guy is gone. Touchdown! And he gets the drum roll. Something you don't see much, but you get the drum roll. Friday night legends touchdown. We've got a 10-0 Longhorns over the Chargers. So Longhorns are able to capitalize. They're going to go up 10 to 0. Seven minutes and counting here in the first half action. Stay tuned. We, uh, we've got some really cool stuff that we're going to do uh, for those that were here at the TOC Con 12. They actually did an, a what they call a Chinese auction. I think they call some of them call it a tricky tray. There's a lot of 
terminology for it. Um, but really, it's it was a really cool thing that Steve Toff put together. And basically, guys were able to buy tickets and enter their, their bids basically based on the amount of tickets they wanted to put in. Got some really cool stuff. I think they're giving away a board, some tweak figures, or tweak bases. I don't know how you tweak a figure. That'd be interesting. Maybe that's a new thing. Um, tweak bases, figures, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and, hey, it's just a fun way to, to be able to raise some um, some funds for the hobby and to be able to do some great things. So we're probably going to make the announcements live here on air at the, at the halftime, so in about six minutes or so. What are we going to get out of this one? Are we going to get a return? Coming out of the middle. There's a seam right up the middle sure here. He can, seal off, he can seal off both the left and right. He can run for days here. Right up the middle. Nobody on the left. Nobody on the right to, to be able to break in there. Dr. Bob's got the speed, but you know Hulk's got the strength. So this is going to be where that test really comes into play. On the field. Yep. He was on the wall. Here we go. Ooh, oh, and nice hit, hit and spun around. Hit. Wow. 31. Down 31. at the 31 yard line. One minute change yep. of possession. Here we go. We got it on the field. We got it on the field. Ten seconds offense. Defense All right, I'm going to try to carry us through. If we still have feed here, we've lost Full a monitor time. feed. I think somebody's tripped over a cord. I can see us up on the iPad, so it's got to be a power Defense issue 10. where somebody's tripped Nine. on a cord or something. Eight. So just going to try to talk us Six. through this here. Five. And it looks Four. like our monitors are starting Three. to come back on now. Ten. We apologize. We have probably every Hands. bit of 200 Six. miles of cord strung in these, in these rooms. Um, it just sometimes it happens. Somebody trips over a switch or a cord or a plug-in. It's over five. Four. And I think Pitch. we're still together. We back on. We're getting close. Come off. You guys can probably That's see. It. We can't. <laughs> I'll, I'll call out the action Pardon live here as we see it. Looks like it's about right first and one on the 29, and now we've got. A run off the break that's going to take it up to about three yard line. So, I'm sorry, three yard gain up to about the 35. Option pitch to 21, gain of three. Separated. Surprisingly, Hulk's only got six yards for this half so far. Down inside of about four minutes to play in the half, 327. And he doesn't really have a really strong rushing attack yet. It's just kind of a, he's trying to grind. And Dr. Bob, I think the overwhelming defense is just shutting him down here. So we're going to be looking at second down and about six. Four, three, two, one, and offense. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands, six defense, five, four, three, two, one. Hook back up on Hands. his legs again here. He's anticipating some yeah. type of throw. Okay. Right. He usually Option. tries to sit down as much as he can to rest. Once he's up, sack. Oh, there's a sack right there. Beautiful sack. 34-19, minus 15 on the sack. It's going to be a loss of 15 yards on the sack. 
Minus 15. Separate your teams first before you line up. Here we go. We're good. We're gonna use your clock. Okay, we're gonna use one on. Okay, ten. Okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands defense six. Set. Come on, come on, come on. Quarterback up. We're trying to come out of this deep hole now. Took a 15-yard sack. Five, looking for a pass, four, looking for an opening. Dr. Three. Bob's really, really got his defense just airtight right here. He's got a very small window. He's got to throw around one of his own men up to about the 35-yard line. Incomplete. Incomplete. And he's going to throw an incompletion. Separate. That's going to bring up third down. I get it. Separate. Third down. Third down. We'll get it back up Minus and run. There we go. Sack. Fourth down. Hulk now one for four with his passing for two yards. Seconds. And how about this? Negative yeah, nine yeah, yards yeah, rushing. Yeah, he's got yeah, negative yeah. seven yards of offense for the game. Nope, up five yards. The he's got to get a seven-yard gain to even say he's got positive yards here. Holy cow. Last play. Last play from scrimmage for the first half. You guys stay right here on the Gridiron Buzz Network, and we will get you guys going. We've got a uh, live auction that we're going to do real quick. It's, like I said, it's the uh, kind of like the tricky tray auction. I've heard a lot of people say there's a lot of different things that they want to call it. Oh wow! What a, what a first half! I mean, ten zero. I think it could the score. It could easily be back, back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah. Just a couple That's different little plays right there. No doubt about it. I think they're going to go into locker room at halftime and kind of regroup here. I think they're both going to come out with a little bit different and battle plan. Six, Dr. Bob's five, really trying to make four, a statement here. Yet, he needs three. another. Okay. Nothing, needs another nothing, score. Nothing, needs at least nothing. a field goal. We didn't do anything. Pressure into a, a five, touchdown five, or something. Four, but look, right off the break. Hulk is a master at you know, handling the pressure and just keep driving. Nobody just beats up on the Hulk. Turned around at the 11-yard line. Out of bounds. And that's going to do it for the first half. Stick right here on the Gridiron Buzz the Network. 7, 26, 74 yards. 74 yard rush. Hey, he's back in the positive. Guys, we'll be right back with you. Stay right here. We're going to get this thing tuned up, and we'll be right back. All right, coaches, we're back for second half action. It's the TOC Con Elite Eight. Again, we've got to get through this tournament tonight. We don't have any more time. No, we're smack dab up to get some wall out of time. Coming down the stretch here, we had an interesting half of stats. The Hulk with the Chargers passing one for four for <laughs> two yards. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Two yards. You guys use the brown a balls? Big, a big run. Or no. Late in the half or 74 AJ's yards. AJ's brown balls. No? Okay. I'll use it. Rushing yards. Huh? For a total of 67. Okay. Dr. Bob and the Texans are two for three. I got it. I need it. I lost one. And passing for 72 yards. So that makes up for it. 64 yards of offense on the ground. One Time minute switch over. Nearly in effect. Equal at 13.30 Rolling. for Hulk and the Chargers and 16 minutes and 30 seconds for the Texas Longhorns and Dr. Bob. Hey, Steve. I like them, but. So we got a question from Jay Hicks. He's asking, are the rules and regulations on the website? Yes, there is a Tournament of Champions website. And, Jay, I will post that here momentarily as we get going under this first half that actually has the rule book in it. So you won't want to miss that. Uh, you guys can actually download the rule book. It's a PDF. And then, uh, of course, if you have questions, I'm not necessarily on the rules committee, but I can help direct you in the right direction for that. So it's first and 10. Looks like we're going to take it, uh, where we're taking it from, the 20? Right. 
We set up for a kickoff. Hulk elect not to bring the ball out. So there's somewhat of a five-yard penalty. Yeah, lost a little bit of, of potential there, but he's got to get he's got to get something going here. Well, I think he's in fine shape here. I think this offense is going to get rolling here a little bit. As long as he can keep the game close and doesn't have to get into a desperation passing situation, I think he's going to be fine. I do too. I 100% agree with that because uh, it can still make a difference. There you guys go. There is the link for the game uh, for the tournament champions rule set, which is kind of becoming a little bit of a standard. You might see some variation in different leagues, but that's uh, that's a pretty big standard as we go along. Inside the 24, center. Second down. And a gain of about, uh, about four yards there. So second and six. 24. So you should be on 25. Yeah. 26 if you got arms, guys. You think Jim Davis is going for the run again, or you think he's going to have to bust this outside Ten, somewhere? Nine, yeah, I think, I think he eight, knows his bread and butter is going to be the run. He don't want to force himself into uh, passing situations. But. Running right up the middle, number 21, right up the middle of your screen. And he's going to get a lot of pressure. And he's down. At the 33. First down. First down. That's going to be a Gridiron Buzz Network first down. Now we're seeing just a little bit of a movement here with the Chargers offense. I don't think he has to be impatient much. He just has to continue to grind. First order of business is at least get a touchdown on the board and close this game up a little bit. I think he'll start to pick the pace up once we get down below like 17, 18 minutes, somewhere in that range. I think once he gets the ball in that zone, he'll, he'll feel a little more pressure to play a little faster. Right now he's just being slow and deliberate. He's trying to really analyze this defense upon a weakness that he can pull off one big play, one big run. He already has a long 74-yard run right at the end of the first half. Went out at the two-yard line and really needed that score. So. And now we're starting to see the power of this offensive line. It's going to be great for uh, we inside the red zone. Almost. But that is for a first down. So two back-to-back -back first down plays. Looks like he's uh, at the 24. So pretty nice play. Ripped off another big run here. Got a question from Nicholas Smith. Is asking if it's only running plays. No, Nicholas, this is actually like you would see in regular football. You have teams that are predominantly run, but you also have teams that uh, predominantly pass, and then you've got the mix of both. Uh, the coach that you're watching that's running the ball right now with the Chargers, Jim the Hulk Davis, he's known for his running game. And uh, he's, he's getting it done right now, at least in this half. Struggle a little bit in the first half, but he's got it kind of back up and running. Well, I had 65 yards in the first half, and here we are just a few minutes into the second half and already racked up to 120 yards. So he's nearly doubled his production in less than... Ten, Looks like about nine, five minutes eight. here. This defense. Five. Welcome in, Mark and Eric. Good to see you guys. Brian Fox, Mr. Chris LeMay, and, and the six, uh, five, Electric Football six, Hall of Fame and Museum. Lots of good stuff coming down the pipe with that national, I think, National Hall of Fame. Get that right? right. National Museum. I'll get it right. Right there. To the line. To the 20. To the Gain 20. Of four. Gain of four. And we're in the red zone. It's Mr. National Podcast Red Zone Alert. You know, even these smaller plays of the 45-yard variety are starting to be effective. It's kind of like the own body blows. You're just setting, you're setting your opponent up for the the right to come over the top here. And you know, it's, it's interesting to watch make offense. It's Ten, not just a, nine, a dink and a dunk eight, here and there. It's, it's 
four yards by force, by blunt force, and it's just the way he plays. Some people call it bully ball just because he's so powerful. It looks like he's just mowing people back and no plan with no strategy. But he really ha he really does have strategy. We get a good shot of our coaches. It's uh, Dr. Bob Owens on the right in the Longhorns, uh, burnt orange polo, and Jim the Hulk Davis on the left sitting down. Uh, right there, both right there, right great there. coaches. It'll be a gain of three yards on the play, second and seven. Get Referee Jimbo Dunnigan giving the uh, the defense a you know a warning. You got to make sure you got that one yard cushion, basically in the neutral zone. Second and seven. Take a look here. How many people Dr. Bob has in the box? There you go. Got him. Got that box stack pretty good. Quarterback. Hardest spot to be on the board. Quarterback option right up the middle. You're gonna bust out. First down, 12 yard line. First and goal. First and goal. Oh, at the 12. First and 10. Got it. Thank you. You got a good referee on this. Two yards matter here. Yep. Man, oh man. What a game. Hope could punch this in right now. It could be dealing with the 7 10 ball game. 20 minutes to go. Or we could have a situation that uh, may have to settle for a field goal. It depends on how this defense stacks up. Well, let me remind everybody this drive started at the 20 yard line at the beginning of the half. So this has just been a long, sustained drive. No passing. Old Cousin stood up once on this entire drive. Didn't As need to. No. He's, he's, I think he's going back to true form here. But uh, he, wants to, he wants to see if he can force his way with the run. And there it is. That's a Friday Night Legends touchdown. We've got a ball game. 7-10. I think I heard him. Well, we're going to keep it right here. Other, I'm going for two. Six points. We're going to give him his due diligence. There we go. There's the six. I just briefly saw him kind of mouth I'm going for two. So, you know, here he is. Yep. That's what happens. So we'll go for two, try to get uh, where a field goal will make the difference, or is this kind of some strategy that's going to come down the, you know, at the end of the game? I mean, this could be a big thing here. You might have uh, kind of a quick rush there. I think Colts trying to do something. Play, the whole time. Doesn't matter. Get extra ten on this, Bob. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, I'm going to throw five, a poll out. Who do you guys four, think has the momentum three, right now? Is this going to, I mean, let's just go for it. Pick you, offense, route six, for your, you know, root for your five, favorite coach. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, hands, defense six, five, four, three, two, one, offense, call your play. Where are we? Tailback, deep back, deep Right up the middle. Can point it out. It's good. We had him at 20 yards. No, how do you running back can be 20 yards? Only if you're in shotgun. Only if your quarterback's in shotgun no, at 15. No, no, stop the clock. No. Yes. Uh-uh. 1848. No. Kelly. Running back. We're going to let the clock run, running but we'll get it reset for everybody else. If the quarterback's in shotgun at 15 yards. Oh, okay. If your quarterback's at 15, you can be at the back of your quarterback. So you were deeper than 15. You were deeper than 15. Hey, hope we had we had this conversation. What's what, do I get the play over? No, it's no good then, right? It's a two-point play. Two-point play? It was a two-point play.
keep on play. Illegal formation. Illegal formation. Play over. Oh no, it's just dead ball. Okay. Illegal formation. Okay. So what is it? No play. Or play is over. You don't get it back. Oh man. Wow. So set up too far in the in the backfield. He was 20 yards deep. Nobody can be 15, more than 15 at the snap right, of the board. Dr. Bob, we've got a 100% vote for Dr. Bob. If you think Hulk's going to win, cast your votes. It's out on the screen. We'll see where we're at. We'll post those in results at the 10-minute mark. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One minute, change of possession. There we go. We're going to keep the clock running. No need to stop. Everybody's okay. Okay, stop. Cool, cool guys. All right, calm down, guys. Welcome in, Isaac Cash out on the West Coast. Got some good things going on. Uh, I did check the scores at halftime. We had John Hunter up 14 to seven over Pat Morris at half. We had seven seven, Mike Robertson versus Kenneth Allen at the half. And uh, you know, I didn't get a chance to check Jamani and, and Norbert's game, but I'm sure that's a close one over there. I'm gonna probably go seven seven myself. You're still duking it We've out. We've had seven sevens all day, so I'm Why sure not? it's probably that's pretty close. That's a safe close. bet, right? I mean, we'll get a final result. That's that's guaranteed. We'll have that result for you here in just a minute. We're going to do a touch back here and take it to the 20. Hey, Brian Fox. Good to see you on, man. Glad you could join us. Hope you're doing well. I see Orlando is on. Welcome in. So it looks like the Longhorns are going to take it at the 20 after um, maybe looking at the kickoff. Didn't like that here. So we're going to get some good stuff going here. Well, we got a moment in the action. I want to take a quick second and uh, recognize one of our sponsors. It's going to be B-Nuts. And B-Nuts decals and figures. For those of you that are just now joining the hobby or needing some really good stuff, make sure you go to bnuts.com. That's B-E-E-N-U-T-T, bnut.com, and you can order all your custom decals and figures. A lot of great stuff out there. I believe you might even have some tweak bases that you can get. So uh, really easy, great guy to work with. He'll be, He's very accommodating to everything that you need. Check out B-Nut and B-Nut decal and figures at bnut.com. So it's going to be first and ten for the Longhorns. Here we go. Got a mobile quarterback taken out. Stationary in. We got a little trash talking going on. A little awkwardness. Nothing wrong with that. I said when we got down to about the 15 to 17 minute mark of the, of, of the game, it would pick up the intensity. Complete a pass at the third 25-yard line, 26-yard line. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, we go. Does Hulk have that safety one, fast enough to be able to catch him? 25-yard line. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Texas. Texas, we've got a ball game again. It is... 17-6, Longhorns over the chart. 13 55 50 seconds, change over. These stats really starting to mount up now for the Longhorns. 152 yards to the air. Three for three for four passing 64 yards to put a little icing on it on the ground well over 200 yards with what essentially is a quarter of an actual regulation game still to go 
Yep. Hey, good evening, Robert Sanders. Glad you could join us. Thanks for joining the stream. If you haven't had a chance yet, guys, make sure you hit that share button. Share it to your page. Super easy. Just kind of helps us out. Uh, put the word out there about the network, about the hobby, about the fellowship. Um, this will be our last tournament until September at the Dallas Twister. September, yes. That's the next tournament of champions. So this is, we have one tomorrow, of course. It's the Elite Eight, the World Championships. You won't want to miss that. I will have you guys a time as we go along tonight of what time we're supposed to start. And then you know to add plus or minus 15, 30, 45 minutes. You, you decide because everybody else decides for us. I mean, they could say 9 o'clock and we'll start till 9.30, 10 o'clock, doesn't matter. Uh, just some fun stuff. Yeah, everybody knows electric football has its own time zone. That's a fact. Quarterback, quarterback keeper. You got over there. Oh, you got it in the pocket, Jim. So here we go. 12 minutes to go. Quarterback keeper coming right up the middle. Bounce off. Right there. And at the, well, at the He hit him at the 40. Bounce off the back of his base. He's at the 42 now. 42. Gain of 17. So gain of 17. Yep, absolutely. First and 10. Chargers are on the drive. They, they're going for two. is going to hurt him, I believe. Yeah, I really base. didn't quite understand that, other than thinking maybe it would come down to a field goal late in the game and he would have that one-point edge. Yeah, I don't know that it was really the time to try to go for two. I think he was just trying to make a statement to the point that he could do it. And he did it, but he did it out of an illegal formation. Yeah, he did. Illegal formation, play was over. Next run. Eight, seven. Six, five, four. <laughs> hey, Brian Pierce three, is asking what time the action is kicking off tomorrow. One, I don't know, Brian. I will get you updated. Six, make sure you, ha if five, you haven't already, four, make sure you hit the like six, and subscribe five, button or the follow four, button four, on the Gridiron Buzz three, Network three, Facebook two, page. You'll get an instant notification as soon as we go live. That's your one, best way, but I'll try to post something um, that we can have as well. Touchdown. touchdown. Friday Night Legends touchdown. That's going to put it to 12 touchdown. to 17. And he's going yards. for two. Going for two. 58 yard touchdown. Tomlinson, 21. Five. 50 yards. 58 yards. That's what I thought. So we're going to go for two here. Jim and these Chargers are starting to kind of get a groove. It's not over yet, folks. No, it's it's never over with him in the game, and I, we say it every tournament. You're going to win a tournament that goes through the hole. Somebody's got to knock him off. An analogy that I use sometimes, a lot of times, is back in the old WWF days when you had Andre the Giant in the Battle Royal. No one man could try to take him down. It was always had to be a game tackle. So with Hulk in these tournaments, it's really a, a war of attrition. He gets Offense dangerous down. as he goes, but he also gets fatigued as he goes. And depending on how easy, I've noticed, depending on how easy he has in the early rounds where he's not Defense having down. to pass from being Nine. behind Eight. and he's able to sit Seven. and rest, Six. the dangerous he gets Five. later Four. into the rounds Three. because he's fresh. Two. One. He looks good to me. He's moving well. Six. I think Five. he feels well. Right now, he's just, as we say, I'm kind of taken to giving everybody a little catch line, but Dr. Okay. Bob playing like We're demon no good, possessed. No he's he's nice. just, and honestly, I don't think Dr. Bob's intensity is quite as high as what we've usually seen. It. He's just probably played the most consistent football that we've seen over the last three to six months. Yep. Clock will stop on the championship round, but we will have an onside kick. Guess what? We get to go to camera number five. <laughs> we haven't used wow. that. All, we haven't had to use that all day. Imagine that theory. I like the overhead shot. I think it's great, but no reason to the use it. The action's been getting up and down the field pretty rapidly, and we've used these side through the line of scrimmage 
shots a lot more than yep so here we go we've got five cameras we might as well use them onside kick is the call we'll kick it over to the uh, onside kick camera that might be what we have to call it that may be the only time we have to call it as soon as we get there we've got the instant replay ready in the event that we need it we'll see where they end up at Hopefully it's somewhere in the middle because I've already got the camera shot lined up and ready to go. Hey, that'd be great, Brian. Uh, certainly, if you you just come on out, I'm sure it'll probably be the 9, 30, 10 o'clock time frame um, here locally. I, I couldn't imagine it being anything different. Um, we've got to play a whole tournament tomorrow. There's only eight coaches, so it's really three games is how it's going to run down. Elite Eight. Final Four and the World Championship, but still, and we're really not even sure who's in that. No, oh, it's, it yeah, hasn't it shook it. out with the points. Depends on how it goes. You guys want to see how good I am? I think I'm on the. I think I'm on the right shot. Maybe. Uh, well, I said that too soon. Let's zoom in. Right there in the center. In case you're wondering, you need a telestrator to tell you where we're at. It's right there. If you need it in a different color, it's right there. If you need me to point arrows to it, it's right here. There we go. How much time left, y'all, on the clock? 624. Little clock charger ball there. Yep. I think Texas, Texas recovered. So receiving team did recover. Okay. So Dr. Bob still got the ball. So kind of a gutsy call, but I think you got to go for it. You know what I mean? I mean, like, what's uh, – you're down five points. Well, I don't disagree with this call. I just go back to the going for two originally I don't think was the right time, even though he made it, even though it was an illegal play. I don't think the fact that it was an illegal play, illegal formation actually is – I think he was going to score anyway. I, but I just question – going for two at that point in the game if he would have stuck with the seven you know at least he would have been 10-3 and gave himself yeah gave himself the opportunity but he kind of rolled himself out of it you're going to go for two you have to make it because yep. and now you can see had he went with the seven now and you didn't have to go for it. I mean, it, it, it just. There's still time. There's still five minutes. He's got to, I mean, that's about three plays is what that's going to run down to. I think Dr. Bob's obviously going to play conservative at this point. No need to put it in the air. But a fumble changes things. Right. Three and out change things. I mean, there's no timeouts. It's a continuous running clock. But. Here we go. Got a stationary coming in. Mobile going out. I don't believe there's any running backs in the backfield. So it's going to be a quarterback pass. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12. Back at the base. Got stepped into right to change that camera 10, angle. 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four. Bob's got a man. Touchdown. And that's going to be a pretty, pretty potent score right there. That's going to put them up pass. another seven points. Forty-two yard touchdown pass. It's Twenty-four to twelve. Dr. Bob Owens over Jim the Hulk Davis. One minute change of possession. Hulk's going to take it at the 25, save a little bit of time. Instead of having the kickoff, change of possessions, all that kind of good stuff. No problem at all. Well, well fought battle. I mean, it takes a lot of strength. We started this morning with 44 coaches, so that's right. that's that's pretty intense to have to come up with. But he's kind of had a, a breeze coming through here. Now, he, he did take some some pounding a little bit in pool play, but he, he really just never had anybody to cause him to, to be up and move and and do all the things that you try to, you know, that's that's the secret to the Hulk. You get him moving where he fatigues. 
but he hasn't had to do that through most of the day. 24-12, Texas. Got a question from Mike Bill asking about that uh, two-point conversion, the first one that happened, if the play was legal. I'm going to be 100% honest. I think that he was not in shotgun formation, so that would have made it where he could only go 15 yards back. Uh, I see the ruling that Brian Fox has posted on the on the chat, um, which is directly out of the rule book. So, but I don't think he was uh, in shotgun. I think he was kind of under center, which would have made the play illegal. But uh, as it turns out, those two points didn't really change much at this point. It would have just made it a 14 game or maybe as much as a 16 game. But at this moment, uh, Jim the Holt gave us down 12 to 24. Still a well-fought battle. Welcome in Weird Wolf Smith himself. Got mm. a Weird Wolf side. Okay. Glad you could join us, sir. Hope everything's yeah. Uh, I saw your uh, Andy Reid dabbing figure Marcy that was going Defense around. Set. Hope you're having a good vacation. 10 or 6, 5, 4. Three, two, yeah, I think we're one, about to the point you can six, start warming up the bus five, here. Four, three, Anything two, that is going to come out of this from being a, a force risk here is going to be on the side of the Hulk, which means it's going to be a fumble, it's going to be an interception. Passing. There's really not going to be much risk reward here. 20, we're trying to do something out of the norm. Touching at the bottom. Of course, being a professional, it is. He's he's that not going to give up. He's going to go down the, the way he should. Yep. Oh, we, hey, nothing right? nothing to be ashamed of here. Making to a yeah, sweet 16. Sack. It's all right. Second and 15. Minus five coverage sack. Separated 40. And for those of you that are not rolling, familiar, a cover rolling. sack is just that. If you have a pass, you call a pass, and there's no receivers open when you stop the board. You, you're basically your, your quarterback is a stationary quarterback it means you can't roll out of the pocket can't take off it's down at the spot where the quarterback is so that's some of the the risk of setting that quarterback in shotgun formation Ten, you set them 15 nine, yards deep have eight, a cover sack you got a 15 seven, yard sack at that point six, and you didn't even get touched by the defense three two one and how's this for some six, interesting five, numbers here run, Texas run just lit it up on the Right aerial back. side. Dr. Bob pretty much abandoned the rush at halftime, still holding at 64 yards the with 194 five. yards through the air. And Hulk really doing as usual, 215 yards on the ground. 42 seconds Almost left. picked up two yards on, on passing so far. Basic same time as the last player to get five guys up. Well fought battle. Dr. Bob will move on to the final four. We'll have his opponent uh, here in just a moment. We may throw a poll out. You think we should throw a poll out for what game you guys want to see on the GBN Nation? We could do that. I don't see why not. Yeah. No matter which way we come out of this, I mean, you're talking either Pat Morris or um, John Hunter. You're talking Kenneth Allen, Chris Robertson, Dr. Bob. Well, you can't read too much into this so yet, but I yards. see Kenneth Allen packing up his team. Well, be on the goal line. Mike's sitting yeah. there with his team just kind of out. Ten, so I probably nine, give that a nod. Eight, yeah, it's kind of hard to kind of hard to tell, but five. Or four, you've got uh, Darren Jamani and Norbert still battling that over there. Are you set? Set. Ten. Six. Five. GB Nation held it down. Dr. Bob uh, had the momentum. They they picked it out right. Back 20. Big back. Last play. Right there. And that's going to do it, Game folks. That's going to do it, folks. Congratulations to Dr. Bob. Well fought battle by Jim the Hulk Davis. Uh, incredible game. Wish everybody well. Let's see how that wraps up into the finals. I know, you know, I mean, you think about it, Hulk had some pretty good finishes throughout the year, right. so he may have the points. I don't know. 12. We'll figure it out. We'll post it up as soon as we get it. Well, both of these coaches were coming into this game were kind of on the outside looking in. They needed some help. He didn't buy that, did they he? helped themselves, Dr. Bob here now, went and getting to the Final Four. You don't really want to have to get down to relying on anybody to do it for you. You want to do it for yourself. But that's going to wrap up this game. Stick with us for about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll have another game loaded up for you. Uh, should be into the Final Four. And as we always like to say, folks, love your family, love your friends, love your pets, love your football. Buzz on. We'll see you next time. We'll be back in about uh, 20 minutes. See you soon.